Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new then welcome back girl. So in today's video we have another week of Pinterest inspired outfits and more specifically these outfits as you will see are based off of some of the trends that are you know occurring right now in fashion so I thought I would share my take on some of these you know trends there's so many trends like I couldn't even cover a whole video about fashion trends um, but in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some Pinterest inspired outfits and showing you how to style up some of 2023's hottest fashion trends so um, yeah so if you guys want to see my recreation of some of my favorite Pinterest outfits of the week then yeah just keep watching Alright, here's the first look and I'll pop up the inspo pick here and I absolutely love this look. Like we are starting off with a bang. Like I love this look and I love the way it came together. So I'm um, in the inspo pick. She had on like a sheer top with like um, some sort of like art print on it, which is super trendy right now. Um, sheer with like some sort of art print. It's just something that I've been loving here lately. So um, this top I got from Shein, I think last year, I got several sheer tops that are hardly ever wear. So I really should have been busting these out during the warmer months, but we're going into fall. So I think I'm going to start styling these up. So, um, but yeah, so this is from Shein and just has like some little angel print on it. So kind of similar to the inspo pick. In the inspo pick, she had on like some cargo pants. Um, I don't have any cargo pants like that. I mean, I do, but I don't have any like that. But anyway, I just really wanted to wear this skirt because I love this skirt. So it's like a cargo skirt. It has like a little pockets on the side. And it has like some ruching detail um, at the bottom at the hem. So these are from Zara. So these, all these pieces are old, by the way. Um, and then in the inspo pick, it's like she had on some like zebra print shoes. And so I just love that. Like I never would have, I have the inspo pick right here. Like I never would have thought to put, you know, something like that together. But it just works. Like the print on the print, I'm loving because um, it's in the same like tones of the outfit so I just love the zebra print detail in the shoes um, and then in the inspo pick like she had on like some orange tinted lenses sunglasses so I put some on that I got from Amazon um, in the inspo pick like she had on like a textured bag I couldn't really tell the bag because she's got it kind of on the side but I got this little textured bag out it's like shearling faux shearling that I got I think this is from Zara so you know we're coming out you know coming up on the fall and winter season so it's time to get out like all the texture like the shearling and the faux furs and all that so just thought it would go perfectly with this outfit and then to kind of you know add a little something else to the look um i added this little like fedora hat that i got from target i think just to add some more detail I add like a little like another little pop of color um because i do have color in the sunglasses and also kind of in the um, top as well but I just want to add a little bit more detail because again we're going into fall so and I love wearing fedoras in the fall time so but this is the look this is how I came up with the inspo pick or my interpretation of the inspo pick rather and I, I just further accessorized with like some chunky earrings I don't think she had on any in, in the inspo pick I don't think she has much jewelry on just kind of minimalistic but this outfit screams more and more, more is more so I just added on some little statement earrings these are from boohoo this necklace I have no clue where I got this from probably mango or something I just layered on with like some fun little rings too and I just kind of like um did like some metal mixing if you will to kind of you know be a little bit more fun with the look because um, I have been loving mixing metal so but this is the first outfit this is probably my favorite and we haven't even got to the other outfits but I love it and definitely never would have thought to put these pieces together but I'm definitely going to put this outfit in the archives and wear it out soon because I absolutely love it and because this is a sheer top I have on like a little bandeau top underneath it just to kind of you know keep me a little bit modest there and I would further layer with like maybe a leather jacket I think that would be cute with this um, a leather jacket or some sort of like textured jacket or coat would be cute with this outfit as well to further um, layer up and just make it transitional for the cooler month so but I absolutely love this outfit you guys let me know how I did recreating the inspo pick and yeah we'll get into the next outfit All right, and here's the next look, and I absolutely love it as well. I'll pop the inspo pick here, and I saw it, and I knew immediately the pieces that I wanted to style up because I had some similar. So, in the inspo pick, her shirt is like a huge, oversized, like men's style shirt. 
and hers is striped but I could have went with like one of my husband's shirts but this um, blue shirt button-up shirt I got from Zara and it's actually a shirt dress so I'm just using it as like a little like oversized shirt um, but yeah this is old from Zara um, and then I just kept on the same jewelry because again I've been loving that more is more when it comes to jewelry um, I couldn't see in the inspo pic what kind of sunglasses is she had on any because the face I kind of cut the face off but um, I just added on these blue uh, royal blue the way they dupe sunglasses that I just recently got from Amazon just love these um, and then she had on like some oversized like khaki beige um, what are they cargo pants yeah I think they're cargo pants so I put mine on that I just got well I just didn't get them I've had these for a minute uh, but I got popped on mine that I got from um, Fashion Nova and just absolutely love these they're so distressed and just so street style um, and then an inspo pick like she had on she has like this like camel color tote bag I don't have a tote bag that color so I just went with mine that I just recently got from um, Revolve it's from the brand um, what brand is this from can't think of the brand right now but I'll pop it on the screen um, but I recently just got this because I love like this chocolate brown with like a little hint of red so I like you know I like it the color tone of this better in this outfit than like the camel um, and then the inspo pick like she had on some like white sandals so I just put on my little white mules that I just I don't know why I keep saying just got because all these pieces are old minus the bag but I just put on my little white mule mules that I got from Zara just absolutely love these I love the shape of them how they just kind of do that little curve I like this little curve here let me show you like this little curve or not curve but like this little point here and then it goes into a point so yeah love these so just thought I'd pop those on to kind of go with the white but this is a finished look I absolutely love it definitely wouldn't have thought to put these pieces together because uh, this shirt typically I wear it with like some leggings or um, like some pantyhose or stockings or something um, or I'll put like some biker shorts underneath it so I like but I like this oversized you know with oversizedness uh, feel here it's just very casual just comfortable too like I'm so comfortable but I know some people don't feel like or don't like you know when you put like two oversized pieces that like it balanced out but sometimes I like to have fun just like to put two oversized pieces together just kind of makes it look I don't know just kind of makes it different and gives you a different feel it's very street style which I'm really not into that much anymore but when it comes to fall and winter I like to experiment with my style and do all the layering and yeah I love fall and winter fashion so but yeah love this outfit um, you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of it and we'll get into the next one All right, here's the next outfit and this is again another outfit that i never would have thought to put together and it is definitely outside of my comfort zone but i'm definitely loving it and i'm feeling it um so i'll pop the inspo pick up so you guys can see kind of like my vision for this outfit or what i was thinking um but yeah so an inspo pick just a simple um outfit she has on a crop top and some shorts and i just absolutely love this and had some pieces similar so yeah so i have on this little black crop top that i got from cos i just got this i think a few months ago i got this also in a white color because i just love like these boxy cropped um shirts and these are super trendy right now and then um, i just kept on the same jewelry her sunglasses i don't know what hers are but i put on my popped on my gucci um sunglasses just to kind of go with the gucci theme of this outfit and then as far as shorts i love her shorts um, but i don't have any any shorts any gucci shorts um well obviously you don't need any but um i did have like these um i don't even know what kind of shorts you call these like i, I forget the name of them they're like they're not board shorts um, but they're just basically go past your knees so they're not culottes so they're still shorts but just like real long shorts if you will so and I love her Gucci ones but I got these that I've had in my wardrobe for probably a year now maybe a little over a year and these are from Mango so these long shorts are huge and trendy right now um, and just again to go with the Gucci theme of this outfit I went with my little vintage Gucci handbag that I got second hand from Vestiaire Collective just to go with the Gucci I said I keep saying that but yeah just to go with the Gucci theme and then at the bottom this is definitely something outside of my my comfort zone and something I probably never would have put together but loafers with socks like I don't know how, how are we feeling about loafers with socks 
Um, but I saw her outfit and I just thought it was cute. Um, because like I said again, I never would have thought to put loafers with socks. And I do have like some plain black loafers that I have uh, that I could have popped on. But I thought it would be more fun to just put on these white and black ones. They're definitely giving me like old school vintage vibes. Um, but these loafers, I got these from Zara. I don't even know when I got them, but I've had them in my wardrobe. And then I just put on like these little fluffy, not fluffy, but just like little socks with like a little um little lace detail at the top of them just so cute and just so girly um just to kind of further like you know be playful with this outfit so but yeah this is the outfit and this is kind of like my thinking and kind of my recreation of the look um like i said i never would have thought to put these pieces together definitely wouldn't have thought to put loafers with socks and loafers with these long shorts but i like it you guys let me know what you think i don't know if i would actually wear this in real life um i don't know i just yeah, especially like where I live. Like if I was to wear something like this where I live, people, I would definitely get looks. But um, I don't really care, you know. It's not really about that with me. I don't care as long as I feel good in it, I'm going to wear it. But this is definitely something outside of my comfort zone. I'm definitely like cool girl preppy vibes going on. And uh, but I don't know. I'm feeling it. I think um, I could pull it off. Um, you guys let me know what you think about it. So, um, but yeah, so this is this outfit. And I definitely love this one. You guys let me know what you think about it. And yeah, we'll get into the next one. All right, here's the next outfit. And it is definitely more of a meat outfit. If you've been following me, then you know this this is more like it <laughs> like right like those other outfits were experimenting with your you know with my style and just having fun this is definitely a more of a me outfit more of an everyday running errands type of outfit for me so um i just absolutely love it and it kind of falls into the trend of like minimalistic um also like menswear men's tailoring um yeah so i just absolutely love this outfit and um i kind of recreated it to a t with the inspo pic so um so this t-shirt i have on or this little tank top i have on i don't even know where i got this from i think i got it from like a uh flea market or something but it's just like a one of those like um ribbed like um yeah like ribbed kind of tees um yeah and then on top of that i have layered just um a button-up shirt and this button-up shirt actually is my husband's um because i wanted it to be more of an oversized shirt um so i just got borrowed one out of my husband's closet um and then as far as on my legs um, my trousers i think these are from a brand called commence i've had these in my wardrobe for a minute too and then i styled it up with the black veil just to go with the black elements in the outfit and then in the inspo pick like she had a uh, um, a uh, Hermes bag. I obviously don't have anything like that. Um, because this, this shirt is so oversized and boxy, just to kind of put a little bit of shape back into me, back into my look, or back into this, um, I just went with like a little crossbody bag. Um, and this is cute. It's got like a canvas print. And this is, um, I just recently got this from Zara. So I absolutely love it. So to run errands, this probably would be an outfit I would wear. And I'd wear a bag like this. And then in the Inspo pick, like she had on some little basic flip flops. And that's what I did. I went with these more of a wider, if you will, flip flop. But not as but small and petite like the Inspo pick. They're more of a wide kind of thong sandal um, or thong flip flop. So I just love that. Um, and then of course she has on aviator sunglasses. I put on my aviator sunglasses that are from Ray-Ban and then I put my hair back again just to make it more chic, uh, more of a kind of like that quiet luxury Sophia Richie kind of a look. And then I just kept the, the, um, jewelry, just like the outfit minimalistic and just barely there. So I just went with just like a little necklace from Amazon and then these like little teardrop earrings that are super huge and trendy right now. These are from Amazon as well. So um, but this is the look. So I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is more of a me outfit, more of an outfit that I would wear every day. This just screams me. So, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm um, just simple, basic and neutral. So, but um, yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this outfit and yeah, we'll get to the next one. All right, here's the next outfit. And this is the perfect example of another, like I never would have thought to put that together. I never would have thought to style that piece like that. So um, in the inspo pick, really what really what kind of made me choose this picture or choose this outfit is I love that she tied a cardigan 
in, in a knot. Like I don't think I've ever done that nor I don't think I've ever seen that done because most cardigans they just leave it as is either unbuttoned or they buttoned it um, or they have it buttoned. So the fact that she um, put it in a knot, it's kind of like you would a t-shirt. I thought that was just something unique. I don't know, it's just simple things for me. So, um, but I, I also love the tones, like the gray and the beige tones of this outfit and this picture. This picture is just so aesthetic. So I was definitely drawn to it when I saw it. So um, I tried to recreate it the best I could in, in my interpretation of it. So I went with this gray um, cardigan. It's like a three button cardigan. And I got this from H&M and it's super soft. Like this is really good quality cardigan. I absolutely love it. So, um, and again, I just tied it up and like unbuttoned it and just tied it up and just made it sort of like a little cropped little sweater. And so I just love that um and then in the inspo pic she had on some trousers i put on my little silk trousers that i just recently got not too long ago from um, a brand in australia called dish and i just love, absolutely love that brand these are the only pair of silk like real silk um, trousers that i have so i'm trying to be very careful with these because y'all know when it comes to silk satiny kind of fabrics it's hard to get stains off so i'm trying to be really careful and selective of where i wear these so um but i love them they're just absolutely just really lightweight it's so comfortable um and then in the inspo pic she had on like a little bottega bag i just got this little dupe um that i got from i think i got this from ego so just to kind of go with the beige tones of this outfit and then for shoes it looked like her shoes were like a little pink kind of tone i don't know if that's just the filter from the pic or what but i went with these little white mules they like have a um little like chunk chunky heel like a little block heel and they're like um kind of a mesh kind of detail if you will don't know if you want to really call that mesh but like a woven detail and these are super old i got these from zara several years ago so just absolutely thought it would look cute with this look and just love these shoes so and then in the inspo pic like she had on some brown tinted or brown frame lenses are brown frame sunglasses so i just popped on mine that um i've had for a minute and these are from and other stories i've had these for a while and then i just popped on a beige little fedora to go with again the beige theme of this outfit so just absolutely love this outfit like i said i never would have thought to put this cardigan um in this way and you know i never would have thought to put gray and beige together um although i think i've done that color combination before but um, I love that color combination. It's been a minute, I think, since I've done it, if I had done it at all. So I thought this would be the perfect outfit to put it together. So I love this look. And I, ke again, kept the jewelry minimalistic. Um, she had on some layering necklaces. So I kept the same necklace I had on in the previous outfit and just popped on some pearls and some little um, beaded detail um, bracelets from Amazon. This pearl necklace is from J. Crew Factory. So just kind of kept the jewelry simple and let the outfit do the all the work so i just love this outfit i definitely i'm going to wear this and again put this in the archives of what i want to wear out um like the first outfit so because i absolutely love it and like i said never would have thought to put this together but love it and it just works like try that like try getting a cardigan and tying it in a little knot in the front and see what you think it's just another way to get another wear out of your cardigan and just wear it differently so um, but I love this outfit. You guys let me know what you think about re my recreation. And yeah, we'll get to the next look. All right, here's the next outfit. And I absolutely love it. And this is definitely a me outfit. Um, something cute. And I added a few more little details just to kind of make it um, more fun. So in this whole picture, she has on this huge, like, oversized cropped. I don't know if it's like a trench coat like a cropped kind of trench coat which i would love to get me one of those that's actually on my wish list to get something like that so um so obviously i don't have anything like that so i just put on this cropped blazer that i got from nasty gal it actually comes with the matching trousers um but i put on these black ones but yeah so i have on a blazer and because i can't button up this blazer like there's no hole to button it up i just put on this big like um floral detail brooch that i just recently got from um zara and i have a black one too when i was gonna put the black one on but i thought to make this more fun i thought i would add this little like kind of i don't know what tone this is like a goldish kind of muted um mustard color i guess um i just love this color so i just thought i would put it on rather than the black one so yeah 
and this blazer is just so just boxy it has like some shoulder pads that's just how boxy it is to kind of go with like to make this look a little oversized if you will which is definitely not but it is definitely boxy and cropped um and then she has on some black trousers so i put on mine the my probably my favorite ones that i have in my wardrobe and these are from h m i got these beginning of the year maybe towards the end of last year and they are still available actually on the website so and they're so comfortable if you're looking for a, a pair of good um, black trousers then I highly recommend these I wear these um, all the time um, and then she has on some black sandals I just put on mine these are just like a thong sandal with a heel like a little kitten heel and they have like a clear detail like on the toe part and these shoes are so uncomfortable <laughs> putting them on now reminds me i need to get rid of these because these aren't shoes i would wear out like these aren't even shoes that will i will last five minutes in you know how you have those five minute shoes <laughs> that will just you know you just wear long enough to get to the restaurant girl these aren't even comfortable enough for that so i don't know why i even still have these so but anyway so i have them so i'm gonna style them up and then i just kept the jewelry just simple same jewelry i had on earlier and then i popped on these little like celine dupes they have like a like a brown and black kind of tortoise shell to them and they are definitely a good uh celine um triumph dupe so got these from j crew factory so and then as far as the clutch she had a black clutch i went with this one this is an old clutch i don't even remember where i got it from i think i may have gotten it from aldo or something years ago and i just love like the little patches on there and then it has metallic on here too so i can actually wear it on the metallic side um too so um but yeah i love this outfit definitely love the way i kind of came together or this came together and kind of put these pieces together and just to make it more fun and not so basic so um but yeah i love this outfit you guys let me know what you think about my recreation of the inspo pick and yeah we'll get into the next look all right here is another um outside of the box kind of outfit i mean from top it looks fine right like perfectly normal you know just something you know cute and casual and then at the bottom that's when we kind of have a little bit of fun so um in the inspo pick i just absolutely love this outfit i mainly liked it because of the socks with the um sneakers and i don't know why that's such a huge deal to me <laughs> i think it's because i don't typically wear uh socks with my sneakers um at least not in the um spring and summertime like in the fall and winter you know i'll put some socks on but um that's because you can't really see the socks but i don't know what it is about you know when you can see the socks coming from your shoes I, I don't know it would just put me off for years so now of course the trend now is socks you know socks socks and more socks and colorful socks so um but anyway so just to kind of go with the inspo pick i put on this white um, long line vest vests are huge right now as well and um this is from black what is it black house white market or white house black market i can't ever i always get them mixed up no matter how many times i say it but um anyway this vest is from there and it's super old i've had this for years and then i put on a little bodysuit ripped bodysuit this is from shein um, i put on these um paper bag waist um like trouser shorts just to kind of go with the inspo pick i don't know where these shorts are from i've had these for several years too and then i just popped on my little coach belt i think i saw this up earlier i didn't even tell you guys where it was from but you probably saw the big c so yeah these this is my coach belt that i got from the coach factory outlet i believe um and then as far as handbags she has like a white or not white but a black handbag with handwriting on it. i don't have anything like that but kind of go with the red theme of this outfit because there's lots, lots of pops of red which is another trend for this year the season is red so um to go with kind of the red theme the red elements i went with my little red coach tabby bag pillow tabby bag um because just to go with the coach thing um and then as far as the start of the show which is the feet um and the inspo pig will actually had on some chunky sneakers uh i don't have any white chunky sneakers so i obviously couldn't you know recreate that but i did have these sneakers to kind of go with because those like our socks are like a blue and red so to go with the blue and red stripe of the socks i went with the blue and red stripes of my little nike cortez um, sneakers that i've had for several years as well and then her socks are white but i went with these socks these are actually my husband's he has like a whole drawer full of like these colorful and just pattern socks which is another huge trend um this season so i went with these like checkered print yeah i think they're like checkered print and they're like a red 
they have red in them as you can see so again to bring up the red in this um whole look so i just went with the black socks um i don't know i don't know how i feel about the black socks i don't know i think the black socks works better than the white you guys let me know um and then um she has sunglasses on i just popped on these that i got from amazon i believe and they have um some red tint or the red tinted lenses too to go with the red theme of this outfit so but yeah i never would have thought to never would have thought to put this together so um it's just something again fun and i'm determined before it gets really super cold to wear out socks with sneakers i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it y'all <laughs> i don't know when but i'm gonna do it because i just i don't know looks cute on other people and then i put it on and i'm like do i look like i'm about to go play baseball because that's exactly what i feel like i feel like i'm about to go play some softball somewhere but we're gonna be cute and sheet when we play softball so <laughs> but um i don't know you guys let me know what you think about it it's still kind of growing on me you know i love to do these outfit videos these pinterest inspired outfit videos just to kind of give me ideas and also to help me kind of think outside the box and not just get stuck on one particular thing like i like to switch it up so but i don't know you guys that have been following me, you let me know what you think. Like, do you think I can pull this off or you think it's too much, too trendy? I don't know. But I love, I, I like it. I think it's cute. Um, and I just put my hair back in like a half up, half down type of situation too. So, um, but I don't know. I like this look. I think it's cute and, and fun and definitely something different outside of my comfort zone. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about it. So, all right. And we'll get into the next look. All right, here is the absolute final outfit, and this is probably one of my favorites. So, um, in the inspo pic, she had on a blazer with like a black top and some capri leggings and some heels, and you know, you see the back, you see the inspo pic. So, um, I wanted to recreate this look because of the capri leggings because I have just fallen in love with capri leggings. I don't know why, like again this is just an example of how you know you think you hate something or you don't like something and then you you know realize that you know what i really don't like that like i really think that's cute <laughs> so um i just love capri leggings and so i saw this outfit and knew i had to number one get me some capri leggings and number two recreate this look so um but yeah so instead of the blazer because i'm not quite ready to step out with a blazer yet i'm just not quite ready so i just put on my little burberry cardigan that um i just absolutely love and um just yeah like i said i didn't want to do the blazer so because the cardigan is also in this camel tone like the um inspo pick uh the blazer and the inspo pick i just went with this um also it gives me more um of like some pattern too so it's just not all color um i have some pattern you know in the mix with this outfit too so um i kept on the same jewelry uh, my sunglasses are my Ray-Ban, like squared off frame sunglasses. Um, and then this top is from Shein. It's just like a little crop top and like this rib detail. Um, the leggings, they are from Amazon. Um, they came in like a three pack. So I have three of these and they are the most comfortable leggings that I own. Like they are so super soft and just stretchy and bonus, they are not see-through. So, um, and then just to kind of break up some of the black because it is all black just all one tone i went with this um, belt that i actually need to i was debating whether or not i wanted to wear it high up i like it better down here i don't know why i just like it better there um but yeah just to break up some of the black i just went with this little chain belt that's old that i got from she in this handbag similar to the inspo pick it is from mango it is about a couple years old as well and then on my feet i have on some mules similar to the inspo pick these are old from mango so I love this outfit this will be a cute like date night outfit and it's just definitely giving me like 80s vibes like this is definitely like an 80s <laughs> inspired look like this is something I you know I probably would have worn well no I said I would have worn in the 80s but I was like a little kid I was like what uh in the 80s I was born in 81 so I definitely would, wouldn't have worn something like this in the 80s what am I saying if I was born earlier I would probably wear this in the 80s like yeah um but anyway so i love this outfit i think it's so cute and just something that um is just so fun just you know cute little like i said date night look definitely not like a running errands look this is definitely a date night look something that i wear a date night so but i absolutely love it and love my recreation of it and um yeah, you guys let me know what you think about this outfit and yeah that's it 
all right guys so that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite i think i showed you guys eight outfits so let me know which recreation of the pinterest outfits was your favorite i think i have a i think i have in mind a few of my favorites definitely the one i have on definitely the first one with the mesh or the kind of sheer top and i think the one with the shorts with the loafers with the socks that one i like that one and the one before this outfit um the one with um where i was styling up the shorts with the uh white vest um that was i like that one too like i definitely like the ones that um were kind of outside my box as you can tell so but yeah you guys let me know which outfit was your favorite out of all eight outfits and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said these outfits it's you know it's pinterest inspired outfit videos i'm going to be doing once a week so until you guys tell me you're tired of seeing him um but i think it's just a good way to get some inspo and like this video kind of style up pieces that you never would have thought to put together so that's why i like pinterest so gives me ideas and gets my creative juices to flow and so but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video again I'll, i keep saying that but i hope, but hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye guys